Number 46. Indicate whether each of the following can be determined exactly or must be determined with some degree of uncertainty. I see that we have A through F, so A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so in life, there's only two ways, two ways that we can exactly know an, uh, something exactly as far as measurement-wise. We can either count it or we have a conversion factor. Those are the only two ways that we can exactly determine a number, a measurement, by either counting, literally counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, or if we have a conversion factor. So using any of these conversions, whether they're in the English system or the metric system, the SI unit system, those would be exactly determined because all of these are using conversion factors. So either using um, going from kilometer to miles, miles to meters, how many quarts are in a gallon, that can all be exactly determined. So that takes care of conversion factors. Now, what do I mean by counting something? If you can literally count something that you can see, that's exactly determined. So if I asked you, how many fingers do you have? Well, that's, you know, a different question. But all you would have to do is literally just look down and look how many fingers you have, right? Could be 10, could be 9. Doesn't, doesn't matter that, but just as long as you can count them. How many eggs are in this basket? How many, you know, um, books are on the floor? That's all counting. That's exact measurements. Uncertainty, however, there's some discretion. Could be this, could be not. You're just not sure. So anything that can be measured with a degree of uncertainty, you're just not sure. Can't be counted, and it's not coming from a conversion factor. All right, so let's see whether A through F can be exactly determined or used with some degree of uncertainty. So, A, the number of eggs in a basket. Are we not sure about how many number of eggs in a basket, or is that an exact measurement? This can be determined exactly, right? If you look down and you count the number of eggs in a basket, oh, there's 10 eggs, or there's 11 eggs, or there's 12 eggs. That's a direct number. That's an exact number. So A can be found out exactly. B, the mass of a dozen eggs. So now this comes from your system of weighing something, right? A mass. Now, can we literally look at a dozen eggs and say, oh, that weighs exactly fill in the number? No, right? We can guesstimate how much it weighs or what its mass will be, but we don't know for certain. And this also doesn't come from a conversion factor, right? They're just saying, what's the mass of these dozen eggs? So this would come with a degree of uncertainty. You can guesstimate how much mass is in the dozen eggs, but you won't really know for certain. So that gets sort of that one. C, the number of gallons of gasoline needed to fill an automobile, automobile gas tank. Hmm. Do I know how much gasoline my car needs? Absolutely not. I should know that, I guess. But do I know exactly? No, I don't know the exact number. But can I guesstimate what it is? Probably. It's not coming from a conversion factor, and I can't count it. So it has to be a degree of uncertainty. Okay, that one gets rid of this one. D, the number of cm in 2m. Cm is centimeters and 2m, 2 meters. So can I find exactly or will I be a little bit uncertain as to how many centimeters are in 2 meters? This is coming from a conversion factor. This is coming straight from this chart right here where I use centi, C, 10 to the negative 2. 
This is telling me, and we will get more into depth when conversions happen, probably later down, stay tuned, but to read this, you're telling, well, this chart is telling me that one meter equals, actually, we'll do it the opposite way. We'll f go with this flow right here. So we'll say 10 to the negative two meters equals one of the prefix, one centimeter. So that's a conversion factor. 10 to the negative two meters, which is the same thing as 0 0.01 meters, is the same thing as one centimeter. That's a conversion factor. And if you know that conversion factor, you could find out exactly how much is in two meters by doing the math. So this would be a exact measurement, or you could find it out exactly. Letter E, the mass of a textbook. Hmm. If I put a textbook in my hand, can I guess how much the mass is, or will I know it exactly? I'll know it. Not exactly. I'll have to guess, right? Uh, it feels about 100 grams, but I'm not really too certain. And it doesn't come from a conversion factor because they don't give me, you know, a number to begin with. So this would be found with a degree of uncertainty. And last but not least, the time required to drive from San Francisco to Kansas City at an average speed of 53 miles per hour. All right, so I have speed here. I'm looking for a time. So the speed formula or the velocity formula is usually V equals D over T. Velocity equals distance over time. So if they told us that it's 53 for this, miles per hour, and they're searching for a time, the only thing that I would need to know is I would need to know the distance traveled. But from San Francisco to Kansas City, do I know how far away that is exactly? Or can I guesstimate? Mm, yeah, I would have to guesstimate, right? I can't count that and there's no, no conversion factor to say from San, San, from San Francisco to Kansas City is blank. So exact is out. So that's why this one, you would have to find it out by a degree of uncertainty. Okay. Awesome job, guys. Hope this helped a lot. If it did, click that subscribe button. We'll have tons of more questions coming your way. I thank you a lot. My brother thanks you a lot. By the way, go check out physics if you guys are taking physics, too. Um, he's doing the physics side, so go check that out. That'd be pretty cool. And I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have a great day.